This is Innocent, a newborn baby in Zambia, one of the poorest countries in Africa. What are his opportunities in a world where the gap between rich and poor is still growing? Where the wealthiest 1% possess about 40% of the global wealth, and the three richest billionaires own more than the 58 poorest countries combined? In a world where 600 million children live in extreme poverty, and where 19,000 children die of poverty every day, that is one child every four and a half seconds. Where food prices are on the rise again, where nearly one and a half billion people have to get by on $1.25 per day, the poverty line. That means half a loaf of bread in Europe or the US. Another three billion people live on $2 a day, which means a kilo of potatoes in developed countries. Where 300,000 women die during childbirth because of medical complications which can be easily treated in the developed world and where the babies of these deceased mothers have up to 10 times the risk of not reaching their second birthday. Where the life expectancy in Zambia is 52 years, compared with 81 years in the Netherlands. Where globally, 80% of children go to school, but in Western and Central Africa, 40% do not. In the whole of Africa, over 45 million children do not go to school, which means that they will lack the education to be able to work their way out of poverty. During this film, another 25 children have died of hunger-related diseases. Is there no hope at all? There is, because according to the World Bank, in the last two decades, real progress has been made. We will reach the most important millennium goal by 2015, the halving of extreme poverty compared to 1990. It is possible. Tackling poverty is not a hopeless battle. Also in times of economic crisis, we must try harder. Because only then will there be a future for millions of deprived children. And for innocent.